What's the purpose of blood? Transport gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide, etc. Um, nutrients, metabolic wastes, gets rid of them, hormones, all these sorts of things. Okay? So what is the blood is transported in the, the, the vascular system, which is arteries, and then ar arterioles, capillaries, venules, and then veins. So the veins and the arteries are the macro circulation, and then we have the micro circulation. The micro circulation is essential to the transport of oxygen to the cell so that they can do their, uh, they can get the oxygen into the mitochondria so you can make energy. Because remember, no energy and you got a flat line, right? When you're out of energy, the game's over. So everything we do in life should be about getting and keeping energy. This whole energy th process requires blood flow, requires circulation. Now, macro circulation, the one that you, when you go to the cardiologist and you're in the ICU, this is all they look at is macro. So I really shorten it down just to cardiac output, which is about 7,200 liters per day. It's a lot, of, a lot of blood, right? Okay, but that's the macro circulation, and that's what they worry about. They look at blood pressure, they look at pulse, and they look at all this stuff, and they, there's nothing they can do about the micro circulation. Nothing. And it comprises 70%. So if your micro circulation is shut down, you go from the arteries to the veins, and it's called a physiological shunt. You're shunting. So you're getting a great IV of vitamin C, and uh, it's got some good minerals in it. It's not getting to the place it needs to get to. That's why at all, all of our patients, we, they do a beamer before they get IVs. 